It's time for another two minute tech tip. Hey everyone, JB here from the Oracle Jet team. In this two minute tech tip, let's talk about the jet binding layer, specifically the CSS class binding. I was working with an engineer the other day and they were trying to figure out exactly how they could do something really simple such as a toggle button that changes the icon that's on the button when you click on it. When we look at the code, you would think that it would be fairly straightforward and it is from the HTML side. I mean, this is just an OJ button. We've got an OJ uh, action uh, scenario with an event handler that's going to allow us to do something when the button is clicked. And then we're setting the display to icons and the start icon slot has this class binding. And what we're doing here is we're binding in a variable that will display one icon or the other depending on where we're at. Where things get a little more tricky is in the TypeScript side or the JavaScript side, Here's my simple uh, event handler. All I'm doing is changing up the state, either true or false on this favorite state. But what started to uh, catch me when I first started to look at this was the class binding can take three different values. It can take a string, an array of strings, or an object. The string and the array of strings actually overrides or replaces all of the existing classes on your object or your element. In this case with the button, I don't want to do that. I want the animation, I want the hover effects and so forth. So that told me I needed to use an object. The other tricky part in working with an object was the documentation and the cookbook examples show you how to change values of a, uh, of a class, but they don't really talk about adding and removing classes. But it turns out it's really simple. It's just simply passing in a Boolean. So in this case, if I pass in true to the OJ star, which is the outline, that'll show. If I set it to false, it will remove it. So I'm just toggling the state of the favorite state here, and that's setting everything else for me. That's how you work with the class binding. Was that a good tip? Say, I think I'm beginning to see what you mean. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned.